Well, it's day three and things are starting to wind down. Well, we're going to visit a few more exhibits to see what they are adding to the show. I'm standing here in front of the Geomagic booth, and with me is Kevin Schofield. Kevin, tell us more about Geomagic. Uh, well, Geomagic is a software company, and we provide solutions that work with CAD companies to basically get their data from uh, physical sources like scanners into a digital format like CAD. So companies like Autodesk, we have products like AutoCAD, uh, Inventor. Uh, they have a need to get physical data into 3D form, and that's basically what we do. Kevin, tell me, what's on the horizon for Geomagic? For us, it's closer integration with CAD companies like Autodesk. Uh, it's part of the reason we're here uh, is to, to show our, our, uh, our products to these, this particular set of the market because for a long time we've, we've dealt with scanner companies, companies um, that, that, that collect data, and we really want to get closer to the, the CAD market. The, right. They're really the end user for the, the types of objects that we produce. So when we produce these files, we want to make sure that this CAD community understands they can take a physical part now, get it into a digital format, whether it's Inventor or AutoCAD, uh, as easily as possible. Uh, and so part of that is by teaching people. So we've come here, and this is our first time actually at Autodesk University, uh, to show them what we do and kind of teach people more about it. So we've been contributing in presentations with uh, the Alias community, mm -hmm. the AutoCAD community, the Inventor community, uh, and so it's been a terrific show for us. It really has been. Uh, Fantastic. Great. So what's in store for 2009? Uh, 2009, we have a new version coming out. We're currently on version 10. Uh, we actually have a version 10X coming out the first of the year, and a Studio 11, which will be our next major release, uh, probably in the April-May time frame. Uh, and, you know, continued research beyond that, so stuff I can't talk about, but uh, uh, certainly new versions are always exciting to our customer base, and so Studio 11 is the next big one for us. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. All right. Thank All you. right. We're here in front of the Clarizen booth, and with me is Guy. Guy, tell us more about Clarizen. Okay, Clarizen is an pro online project management tool to allow people to manage the execution of project. Basically, not only the planning, but the entire execution and the life cycle of the project. We basically create a repository for the project to manage uh, the tasks, the milestones, all the related documents, notes and discussions that related to the project across the extended team. It's a software as a service solution, so you have zero footprint on the client. You don't need to install anything within the organization. Uh, it's a subscription model. You pay as you go, so it's very affordable. Yeah. And um, basically what we, um, uh, and maybe I will. Maybe, maybe we'll come up and show. Yeah, yes. A little demo here. Oh, here we go. What do we have going on here? Basically what you, what you see over here is, is, is the tool. Um, it allows, um, we, we allow you to update your progress and upload your documents and participate in the project through many different interfaces. Obviously the browser itself. But also, as you can see here, the AutoCAD and Autodesk uh, line of products. Yes. So we have an embedded menu that goes within AutoCAD, allowing you to check your tasks, participate, update, upload the documents, etc. Fantastic. Now, what is in store for 2009 for Clara Zen? We actually uh, we released the product less than a year ago. We saw a great expansion over last year. Uh, I think that 09 will be a great year for us where we, uh, we, we really starting to grow into larger organization, larger enterprise, have extended team using our solution. And uh, we expect, um, I, I think that uh, uh, the, uh, what we see out there in the market right now uh, with the decline in the economy and people are looking for more affordable solution will play great for us because people are looking for a solution that will be affordable, that will be easy to implement, easy to install and easy to use. Sounds outstanding. Well, I'm excited for you guys for 2009. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for your time. We're here with Brian from TechSmith. Brian, recently you guys released a new version of Camtasia. Tell us about it. All right. Well, yeah, we just released Camtasia Studio 6 about a month ago. Um, it has a lot of new features for our customers, a lot for existing customers, a lot for new customers. Um, some of the biggest features are we've added an H.264 compression output to Camtasia. Um, we're doing that in MPEG-4 file format. Oh, um, so that works really well for our web output, which is our most popular format, plays back in a Flash browser. Um, also works for our iPod output, um, as well as um, uh, just a standard QuickTime video as well. So that's sort of the biggest one. 
Um, another big feature that our existing customers have been asking for is the ability in our video one track to split the audio out, which is um, really exciting, can save a ton of time in post-production. So if you don't get your audio right the first time around, you can go back and redo it much, much faster. Uh, we also redid the um, recorder interface, making it easier to get the right recording the first time, which is something that our customers have also been asking for. Um, makes it just a little bit quicker to record over and over again, especially for our power users. Um, we also added a really cool tilt effect, so you can actually take the screen and sort of rotate it on an axis. So wow. especially for those people doing like marketing videos oh, on software, yeah. it makes it seem significantly more interesting to those people. can really add a lot of attention-grabbing devices. Um, we've also just added a lot of things sort of around the back end, shoring up the, the code as usual, continuing to make it run more stable, run easier, work better for a variety of different applications. Um, just a lot of tweaks and different things there. The other thing that our customers really have been asking for is we added a bunch more hotkeys to the editing. Oh. Video editors are usually all about their hotkeys. They are. It, it can save <laughs> tons and tons of time in, in post-production as well. Um, some of our usability tests have shown that people are saving up to 30% of their time in post-production just based based on some of the new hotkey features we've added in. And there's just a bunch of other little things, but that kind of hits the, hits the big stuff. So it looks like in 2009, there's going to be quite the little lineup of new things that are going to be coming out also. Well, Camtasia, our Camtasia product line has been in development pretty heavy for the last few years. We've had a lot of majors over the last few years, and we expect more of the same in 2009. All right, well, we look forward to see what TechSmith comes out with. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm standing here with Tom once again and Elizabeth, and tell us about Project Newport. Tom? Well, Julia, I'm very excited about Project Newport. As a matter of fact, I think it's one of the most exciting things here at all of Autodesk University. Wow. Yeah, and we have it here running on our XW8600. This is a special one with skins on it that resemble Project Newport. It comes with uh, two uh, quad-core processors, 8 gigabytes of memory, and our high-end NVIDIA graphics. So it's a very, very powerful system. And here we have it running Project Newport, and I think Elizabeth can tell you about that. All right, Elizabeth, show us this, this beast over here. So basically, Project Newport is a 3D presentation and visualization tool for architects. It's still a project, but we call it a 3D storytelling tool for architects because that's really uh, what architects are going to use to sell the, the, their design. So they can um, present their design in context, uh, create um, add entourage, they can create animations, and they can create slideshows. So that's really what they're going to use to present their design at every stage of the, of the project. Fabulous. Do you want to show us yeah, a few sure. things here? I'm going to switch sides real quick. So this is the slideshow that I created that is playing right now. Right. Right. And uh, basically, it's a game engine technology. So you can navigate a little bit like in a, um, in a video game. Exactly. And uh, as well, you can um, orbit... Clear. Yeah, Everything's it's so clear, clear very right. easy to use, very easy to navigate. I've never used any uh, 3D software before. I've never played any video game. I only use PowerPoint and I can use it. And it's everything is in real time. So what's very interesting as well is I can change alternative, I can change material in real time, and I can switch, uh, let me see. Um, you know, if I want to, to change the uh, material of this building, I go right. to my material library and change the, uh, the material, and then I can create an alternative and switch to one option to another, and it's always in real time. Well, it just seems like everything's very convenient and easy to use with this program. Yeah. And as you said, you don't need to have a lot of experience in the gaming or uh, the, dealing with the computer animations to use this program. Yeah, that's exactly the idea. So it's a product intended to every architect or every principal in, uh, in the company. Fabulous. Well, I look forward to see what's to come in the future for this. Thank you.
Well, we have seen a lot here at AU this year and know that Autodesk has more surprises for us in store for 2009. Now, I'd encourage you to visit our website at www.cadcamnet.tv to check out our bi-weekly podcast. Well, folks, I will be seeing you next year, 2009, at the Mandalay Bay. Until then, take care.